Hail, Holy Mother, who gave birth to the King, who rules heaven and earth forever. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Through Jesus, let us offer God an unending sacrifice of praise a verbal sacrifice that is offered every time we acknowledge his name. Keep doing good works and sharing your resources, for these are sacrifices that please God. Obey your leaders and do as they tell you, because they must give an account of the way they look after your souls. Make this a joy for them to do and not a grief you yourselves would be the losers. I pray that the God of peace who brought our Lord Jesus back from the dead to become the great shepherd of the sheep by the blood that sealed an eternal covenant may make you ready to do his will in any kind of good action and turn us all into whatever is acceptable to himself through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures, where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me, to revive my drooping spirit. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me along the right path is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff. With these you give me comfort. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Who have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil, my cup is overflowing. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My sheep listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading 
from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The apostles rejoined Jesus and told him all they had done and taught. Then he said to them, You must come away to some lonely place all by yourselves and rest for a while. For there were so many coming and going that the apostles had no time even to eat. So they went off in a boat to a lonely place where they could be by themselves. But people saw them going and many could guess where. And from every town they all hurried to the place on foot and reached it before them. So he stepped ashore. So as he stepped ashore, he saw a large crowd and he took pity on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he set, themselves to, and he set himself to teach them at some length. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have all gathered here, dear brothers and sisters, to celebrate the mysteries of our redemption. Let us therefore ask, Almighty God, that the whole world may be watered from these springs of all blessing and life. For all who have vowed themselves to God, that with his help they may faithfully keep to their resolve. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For peace among nations, that delivered from all, ter all turmoil, the peoples may serve God in freedom of heart. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For the elderly who suffer from isolation or sickness, that they may be strengthened by our love of them as brothers and sisters. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For ourselves gathered here, that as God does not cease to sustain us with the things of this life, we may know how to use them in such a way that we may hold even now to the things that endure forever. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. May your mercy we beseech you, O Lord, be with your people who cry to you, so that what they seek at your prompting they may obtain by your ready generosity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God Bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.